Hi everyone and welcome. I'm Ukrainian Canadian from Vancouver and I love to read tarot because they give you such an interesting insight about your life or about uh, life of the world. Uh, let's uh, use this golden deck of tarot to look into the world situation at the moment. What do we need to know about world situation? Because maybe um, we are we are, we are live now in a historical moment. The world is facing something that we don't know what it is. We don't know how to address it. The world is a, the world is evolving in the direction that we all um, are taken by surprise. Uh, and um, yes, all of us are a little bit of a little bit scared about artificial intellect, AI, and about the war in Europe, the the terrible war, and uh, about uh, autocratic world versus democratic world, about um, dictatorship uh, versus. Um, liberal democracy, both of these systems have now um, come to the standpoint where some um, reforms need to be made. Otherwise, um, it cannot go like that. It, it came to crisis in every possible situation and direction. So um, you and me, you know, we are just ordinary people who, who need to survive. Uh, um, and at the same time, we want to be um, empathetic about victims of the war and we want to ask Tara what will happen next in the world. Seven of Swords, Eight of Wands, Five of Pentacles, and Four of Chalices. Wow! Wow, wow! All sorts of um, energies uh, going in and out in this chaos that we are facing right now. All sort of problems um, the humanity facing and you and me have to be aware of it because if we don't know what's going on politically we are risking our lives, our money, our possession, everything. So let's just with calm quiet emotions because emotions are now running pretty high see what's going on and what sort of um, ideas Tara gives us <clears throat> seven of swords talk about um, something is hidden something is going on in the world that is hidden from you and me behind our back, so to speak, um, behind the scenes, so to speak, that is not visible. You know, when, when NATO meets or when um, the opposing force of Lukashenko and, and Putin, Putin meet, uh, what do they show to the world and what goes on really, it's two different things. Of course, um, I am on the on the Western side of history, so to speak. Uh, you know. However, I see the problems in our Western world as well. Problems are with people losing their jobs. The cost of living is just in, in impossible for many to even to rent a dwelling, and um, there's not enough money for most of us. And it, it is tough. It is tough life. So when NATO meets, um, what do they speak about our security in the world? So they provide us with sort of security. Um, however, inside the country, security is not, we don't have any security, you know? Um, this card talks about uh, lies everywhere. We don't know the truth, truth is hidden. However, however I know that in general, NATO's um, um, were built, um, came to be in 1947 to defend from threats of Cold War from Soviet Union. 
since um, the aftermath of Second World War was such as um, Soviets um, liberated, so to speak, uh, in quotes, um, the, the countries from uh, from um, Nazis, but they uh, actually um, occupied the, the half of the Europe. Bulgaria, Czechoslovakia, Yugoslavia, you know, you name it, Eastern Germany. Uh, so uh, NATO was built in 1947 in order to um, counter, um, you know, defend themselves from, from further advances of communism. I am all anti-communism. I don't know who you are, because I lived for 30 years in this uh, Soviet Union, and I know how terrible it is. It's just a prison for human mind, and it has, people have no rights, and that's terrible. However, um, we understand now that Western countries probably learned from, from, from communists something because they sort of uh, also tried to impose on our freedom in many ways. And this is a very tough, tough time we live in. However, this card is talking about today's world. But nothing today can live on its own without history. This is why I see this Seven of Swords as historically. Everyone is afraid of everyone, right? Because you cannot trust anyone. You don't know what's going on behind the scene. And it looks like um, uh, we try to uh, survive. We try to maintain, uh, a, maintain peace. But this card is not talking about peace. We have a real war now in center of Europe is bru in brutal war. So uh, this card is saying that it's just the beginning of confrontation. Eight of um, Wands talks about uh, if you come to ordinary people, everyone is against the war. No one tell, will tell you, yes, I want the war. No, no one wants the war. That's right. However, Five of uh, Pentacles is saying that people are scared. People are scared that they will um, face something terrible. Since when we watch, uh, watch the news from Ukraine, we don't understand how this brutality can happen in, in our empathic new world. Um, so this five of pentacles talking about refugees and people who lost their home and uh, who still losing because of constant bombing, shelling, of Ukrainian land. Uh, four of Cups talks about the whole, the whole world and now understands something has to change. This life, this um, world order that was made after Second World War, you know, United Nations and NATO, they don't really do what they're supposed to do. They're, they're not protecting us from aggression. So this card is saying the world has to come up with a new plan, maybe new ideas, new um, co-existence of different systems. Because if people of China or people of Russia want their system to be such inside the system, that's their choice. But in between countries, there should be um, uh, something, something, a new law, you know, for protection so one neighbor cannot um, advance and attack another neighbor because they have means to do so. So the king, the, the knight of um, wands is saying that protection needs to be made and this Ukrainian war taught us a lot of things, taught, uh, taught um, the defense system a lot of things. It's not about expensive heavy um, ammunition anymore. We understand that drones can, can do a lot and they are not really expensive. So instead of escalating um, their, you know, production of ammunition of all the Western NATO countries now learned from this war that you don't really need expensive tanks, expensive um, Flugzeugs, how to say it, it's a German word, sorry, uh, uh, 
planes, um, expensive uh, war planes. No, you just um, need something that is cheap. And this is a good thing for us. So we can spend less on uh, expensive of war in industry. But how do we stop the war in Ukraine? The whole world is trying to help. This is kind of perspective. There is perspective piece. It, it, it will happen eventually. When it will happen? Wow, that's um, the emperor card. So, you know, there are only two ways the war can end. And this is the emperor. The Putin calls himself new emperor of uh, Soviet empire. So when they just withdraw the forces from the country that does not belong to them, that's an easy solution. But I don't think if it comes to him, it will never happen. No, the, the lover's card talk about, on the contrary, he will escalate. He will escalate this... Um, this terrible war because this is um actually what we hear from there we hear a lot of aggression and uh, we are in for this war for a longer time unfortunately yes the hermit card it talks about long time uh, the tarot said the systems need to be changed nato has to make new policies United Nations have to make new policies for protection, for protection themselves. And there is hope. Yes, uh, Six of Chalices is all about hope. However, the Hermit talks about dangerous situation with the nuclear threat that comes from Moscow and now from Belarus. These nuclear threats are terrible. And it looks like um, they are just sort of inherited North Korean way of living that is in in this view is sponsored by China for sure. Just kind of China behind the scene, like we have nothing to do with that. But we know that China sponsors North Korea and now it looks like China is going to sponsor Russia and Belarus with the money, with, um, you know, with their power, um, they want to weaken the Western world, and I don't know why, because if they want to sell their goods to us, this is, uh, in my opinion, very not practical, not really wise to weaken someone who can pay. So I don't understand their game. To me, it's all a communist game, red, so to speak, game, which is actually the root of evil. Yes, the communist game. I, the idea of invasion and imposing on the world their terrible regimes that are not humane regimes. You see, they want to impose, um, invade the whole world and impose their inhumane regime on us. But we are, we are trying to, to tell their people because their people I mean, people and government are the same. We, we try to tell the people uh, to, um, to wake up. It's, it's a new era. It's era of coexistence. And, um, but they don't, don't hear us. Unfortunately, they don't hear us. Five of chalices, they have their own idea about the world. An idea is completely crooked. Completely crooked. Uh, will we escape the horror of uh, the war? This card says yes, but not altogether now, and not it's not an easy task. Um, the spread is not really hopeful, but it's not really doomed either. So let's uh, just make more spreads. Like let's see what's going on, what will happen next. And let us all have common sense and empathy to Ukrainian people who are suffering this terrible war, unprovoked and um, unfair. Um, I wish you all well. Take good care of yourself and come for more. Bye for now.